idea behind today's event is to bring together uh, partner authorities um, um, in the, the field of CLD um, across the, the, the mid-east and central belt of uh, Scotland. Um, really just bringing these partners together to you know, enhance and promote CPD amongst the, the, the field of C CLD practitioners. It's a good opportunity to meet other colleagues across the different areas. I think it's quite important to bring uh, fellow practitioners together from different local authorities, so I was, I was keen to come. You see how um, other workers are, are dealing with situations that can be a challenge or a struggle, so there's a whole range of, of learning that you can take away from an event like this. I just feel it's really important that um, CLD workers get the opportunity to share practice and come into an event like this it, that's exactly what you get, but you also get the inspiration and the um, sense of new and innovative work that's going on. I always feel it's really useful to speak to other practitioners who are doing similar work and to learn from them. I'm always looking for something that's going to develop both my practice and support the development of other practitioners uh, through training and sharing. Professional development is crucial really for a, a role of CLD where you're often working in communities where you know, things are changing. I guess I'm one of those people who sees professional development as underpinning um, the values that I work with and work towards. My professional development is key to me as a practitioner. Um, you know, one of the underpinning principles is, uh, you know, about lifelong learning, continuing to learn and, 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 and to be doing that with others. And I see it as a, as a key responsibility. I am responsible for identifying my own uh, professional development needs because I'm best placed to know what those are and what I need in order to be able to do my job effectively. There are challenges that you need to prepare for and adapt to, so there's always a need for continuing professional development. I feel that I need to be able to say to my employer, here's a need that I have and I need training in this. And I also feel that they should be saying to me, this is what you need to be doing now, this is where this is the direction we're going in. My professional development is hugely important to me as a, as a practitioner and it's something that's, that's ongoing. Um, it's now been 10 years since I graduated from university, um, but it's important that you're learning all the time. Professional development is very important. I mean, for me, I've been a practitioner for a long time um, and I think it's about... Uh, you know, retaining my freshness and enthusiasm. The best method for me of learning and development is um, to do it collaboratively. Um, I have done um, my own personal development through various courses, etc., on my own, but I have also done courses involved with other people from different agencies, different backgrounds. Um, I find that far more productive participatory approaches are ideal because I think that it's good to learn new approaches while you're learning uh, in your, your professional development. Your need and your requirement for professional development changes. Obviously when you start out it's all new, it's all different and um, you know you're hungry for every experience. I think it works well for me because it starts from where I am, it helps me explore something that's a concern to me and I can make sense of it and meaning with it in my own way. And for me, that's the most powerful learning.